Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bunch of makeup here that I'm going to give you my quick speed review on. So these products I have been dipping into over the last month or so and I just want to give you my final thoughts. I do these videos quite often so I will link my playlist down below if you want to go and watch more. Starting off with the e.l.f. Putty Primer. Now I know I am probably the last person on earth to try this but oh my god like I understand now what all the hype is about. For some reason I thought that this would be kind of like a thick pore filling primer which is why I was like yeah not that keen but I was sent this in PR so finally tried it and it is the most thin smooth pore filling primer that I have ever tried the formula is beautiful I especially like to use it around my t-zone and What's this section of your face called here? Like, is that included in your T-zone? I don't know. But around here where I get quite big pores and it just fills them in very lightly, which then leaves a beautiful smooth finish with my foundation. It just feels so silky and lightweight on the skin. It is absolutely beautiful and I definitely recommend. Next, I've got the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Lit All Over Glow Enhancer in the shade Pink Pearl. Now, glowy primers seem to be quite popular at the moment and I did think this would be a bit of a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. But after testing it out, it definitely is not. So don't buy this expecting that. This is simply just a glowy primer and it's only going to give you a subtle glow. Nothing too like Tin Man metallic shiny. This is the kind of illuminating primer that I think you could just wear on its own. So after you've done all your skincare, if you just want a little bit more... Mm to your skin, you know, you want to look a little bit more glowy and fresh, then this is a great option to go in with. It doesn't necessarily smooth out your skin or add any coverage, but it just gives a subtle glow. Once you apply your foundation over the top, it's not super noticeable, but if you do mix it in with the foundation, again, you can see that slight glowiness that it gives. Looking through my collection, I don't really have an exact drugstore dupe for this product so I can't say you don't necessarily need to spend the money on it but I'm sure there's a drugstore product out there that does a very similar thing. Speaking of a Charlotte Tilbury dupe, the Maybelline Perfecta 4-in-1 Glow has been going viral on TikTok and Instagram. So when it launched into Chemist Warehouse, I ran myself down there and picked it up. Now this does come in four shades and I picked up the fairest shade called 00 Fair Light. Now it's not as fair as I was thinking. It definitely looks a little bit dark on my skin tone. Once you blend it out and apply foundation, you can't really notice, but I wouldn't wear it by itself because I can see that it's just like a touch too dark for me. Now, I did do a review over on my Instagram showing you what it looks like compared to the Charlotte Tilbury and then another video showing you what it looks like with foundation over the top. So I'll link those down in the description box if you want to go and watch. I'm just going to blend it out on my hand here though and you can see that it does give quite decent coverage. It has a beautiful glow to it that definitely shines through from underneath the foundation and it smooths the skin out. Like it kind of gives that blur and just makes the skin look more smooth. It's very, very beautiful. I don't think it's an exact dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, but it's very similar. Let me know down below if you want to see a YouTube video of it in action and I can definitely get something organized. Now a product that I just cannot put down and I'm sure I've talked about it on YouTube already, but I just want to give it one last review here. This is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum and I haven't used a concealer that has blown me away like this in so long. So I have the shade Light, which is a really nice shade for me. It doesn't give that brightening effect. It kind of just matches my skin tone, which I prefer more these days. Okay, the formula. It is just one of a kind. It has a beautiful medium, probably high medium coverage. It feels extremely hydrating under the eyes. It gives more of a satin finish, but somehow it still dries down. It doesn't dry down matte, 
but it dries down and you still get that nice satin finish. I have never not set a concealer with powder, but this concealer does not need to be set with powder. And one of the things I love the most about it is that it doesn't extremely settle into my fine lines. Of course it does a little bit. Every concealer is going to, I've got a lot of fine lines going on under there, but this does it very minimally. Just once you apply it and blend it out, it looks so smooth and flawless, good coverage, good finish. I cannot rave about it enough. If you have tried it, please let me know your thoughts down below because I need to connect with someone who also is obsessed with this concealer. Next, I've got some brow products I wanna talk about and these are the Laminating Gels. First up is the Quick Brow by the Quick Flick and then the Models Prefer Wonder Brow. Now, I love them and I don't. First of all, both of these products work pretty much exactly the same. I haven't really seen a big difference between the two, so there's that. Now the laminating aspect of these products and what they're supposed to do is really slick your eyebrows down and give you that look that you've gone to the salon and got your brows laminated. They definitely both do that, but for me, I just don't think it's the best product. I have very sparse eyebrows and when they're not tinted, they're blonde. So you can barely see them anyway. So for me, I need to put in a tinted brow gel first. And if I were to do that and then go in with this, it just spreads the tint around. Whereas if I apply the laminating gel first and then go in with a tint or even a pencil to like really fill out my brows, it doesn't apply very nicely over the top. So I think that these kind of products are going to work best if you have a lot of brow hairs, nice thick brows, and you just need to put them in place. I don't think that they are both bad products. I just don't think that they work very well for my brows. Next, I've been using the Emco Beauty Instant Contour Wand, and I have the shade Light Medium. Now again, I know this one's been out for ages and I'm very late to getting around to trying it, but here we are. Okay, this formula is beautiful. Again, I see what all the hype is about. Now, as I said, I have the shade light medium and this one is a bit warm. There is another shade available, medium dark, and that one looks a lot more cool tone. So I definitely want to pick that up when it's on sale and give it that a go. But the formula of this is absolutely beautiful. It's so lightweight. It blends very easily. Like you cannot make a mistake with this. The finish has a really nice sheen to it as well. It's not super opaque, but I kind of like that because it works really well for those like natural makeup looks or if you just want your skin to look like extra glowy, this is a great bronzer for that. I've got some mascaras. First is the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. And I did really like this. It made my lashes look nice and long and separated. But unfortunately, this one transfers. And I don't really experience that very often with mascara. But a few hours in and underneath my eyes was black. It was not a good look. So quite disappointing because it did do a really good job. Another mascara I have been wearing is the Rimmel Wonder Volume Thrill Seeker. And this one is definitely a winner. I feel like Rimmel mascaras used to get quite a bad rap. I don't know why, but I just never was interested in purchasing their mascaras. But this one here, first of all, I love the shape of the wand. It's right up my alley. It lengthens, it separates, it does everything I want in a mascara and it doesn't transfer. I did just recently test this out in a video, so I'll link it down below if you wanna see it in action, but I have been using it every day and so far, so good. And then lastly, I've got the Revolution Juicy Bomb Lip Gloss. Now this smells amazing. It says it's raspberry and cherry, oh my God. Oh, it smells so good. I love the color of this and it just looks juicy. When you apply it on the lips, all looks good, but it does not last a very long time. I actually wore it out. I went to see Mary Poppins the musical recently and I literally had to apply it, like reapply it every 10, 15 minutes. So if you do want a lip gloss similar to this, BYS has a really nice glass glow lip gloss that I love go for that instead because 
Unfortunately, this just didn't hold up how I wanted it to. All right, well, that is all for my speed reviews today. As I've said, if you've tried any of these products, please leave me a comment down below and we can have a chat about it. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I am so close to 10K and I would really appreciate you pressing that subscribe button buddy <laughs> button <laughs> and joining the little youtube fam other things i'm going to put in the description box my instagram my tiktok a link to the video for this makeup here a link to my playlist with all my speed reviews and a just product list for everything i mentioned today so have a look there if you want some more information and you just want to go binge okay all right hope you're all having a fabulous day and i'll see you in the next one bye